Space discoveries are some of the greatest achievements our civilization rightfully takes pride in. And today, still more fascinating scientific prospects are looming up ahead. But what if all these processes are doomed? Destined to be stopped by the greatest threat to our species? And sooner or later, the depths of the universe will reveal to mankind irrefutable evidence of what ultimate fate has in store for any living creature, namely, the inevitability of death. According to the theory we'll be looking at today, any intelligent race is bound to face a number of insurmountable obstacles at a certain stage of its development. And the upshot of the development of any civilization is that sooner or later, it is to meet its demise, with no traces or evidence of its existence left behind. The hypothesis we'll be talking about is called the Great Filter. To estimate the plausibility of such prospects, we will have to direct our gaze into the future and to speculate about issues likely to be lying in wait ahead of us that we are going to encounter while evolving as a species. The idea of the Great Filter Hypothesis was first put forward by the economist Robin Hansen in 1996. The theory was supposed to account for the Fermi Paradox, something I told you about in one of our earlier videos. According to the author, since there are no traces of extraterrestrial civilizations to be seen in the observable part of the universe, it is doubtful the chances of the birth of intelligent life forms are high, and so arguments in favor of this motion have to be seriously questioned. It is feasible that factors as yet unknown to science may impede the evolution of life forms, not allowing them to grow into a civilization advanced enough to venture into the cosmos and become a galactic race. If the hypothesis were to be believed, such like factors may well get in the way of our species too. As for the notion of the Great Filter itself, it specifies what some of these obstacles may be like. Chronologically, they can be either in the past, when animals are prevented from evolving to become intelligent species, or in the future, meaning that there is a big hazard of an intelligent civilization almost certainly finding itself on the road to self-destruction. In our case, the concept implies that the easier the evolution has occurred until now, the worse the prospects for humankind appear to be for the future. In other words, if we still haven't had to deal with our great filter, it is highly likely we will yet have to do so at some point. Initially, the hypothesis was met with skepticism. The evolution of species on our planet has been going on rather smoothly which means that there may well be, or may have been for that matter, similar conditions elsewhere in the universe. In addition to that, the Drake equation shows that in the Milky Way alone there should be at least several dozen advanced civilizations. At least some of them are bound to have got the hang of radio astronomy or constructed spacecraft like our voyages. Consequently, interaction with an alien civilization cannot be that elusive. However, Ever since we set out on our search for other intelligent races out there, the universe hasn't dropped as much as a single hint of anybody else dwelling in its vast expanses. The hypothetical Great Filter may well be the reason for this lack of clues. The hypothesis suggests that the role of the Great Filter may be played by one or several obstacles an advanced civilization has to power through in the course of its evolution. If a filter of this sort does exist, that should explain why we still haven't received any signals from advanced civilizations from elsewhere in the universe. Incidentally, the hypothesis admits of the possibility of some creatures surviving the Great Filter. To do it successfully, they have to complete several stages. To begin with, their planet has to be in the Goldilocks zone of its parent star. Next, life has to originate and start evolving there with the organisms capable of multiplying using molecules like DNA and RNA. After that, single cells have to evolve into more complex ones, while the evolution of multicellular organisms will be vigorously stimulated. This in its turn should stimulate the development of sexual propagation, which will be good for genetic diversity. 
Eventually, this will produce yet more elaborate organisms capable of using tools for developing to the level of advanced enough technologies necessary for space colonization. They will then proceed to colonize other worlds and stellar systems to ensure survival and obviate the eventuality of self-destruction. Robin Hansen argues that it is then and only then that the Great Filter will become a thing of the past. Within this concept, at the current stage of evolution, mankind should be bracing up for the most challenging one coming next, when other celestial bodies are going to have to be colonized for the human race to survive. However, it is hardly necessary to point out that the plausibility of going through with this plan is rather small. Robin Hansen maintained that there is a fatal obstacle that an intelligent species encounters at some of the nine steps of its evolution. This is supposed to be something definitive that causes total elimination of the species. Mankind may have completed eight steps of evolution. The chances of successfully completing the ninth are rather slim, and that last step may prove to be that very fatal obstacle. A number of other points are set out in the hypothesis. For example, it specifies measures that must be taken by civilization to eliminate the risk of self-destruction as a result of internal wars, irreversibly detrimental impacts on ecology, and the depletion of natural resources. Apart from the exclusively theoretical benefits offered by this reasoning, it could be really useful for working out our strategies for space exploration. From the perspective of the Great Filter Theory proponents, the discovery of extinct multicellular life forms on Mars should be bad news. It will imply that most of the steps we have completed so far have been comparatively easy. And so the greatest challenge will be posed by the steps still lying ahead of us. That is why the easier hypothetical evolution occurred on other planets, the higher the probability that mankind will never grow to be a spacefaring civilization. But actually, it isn't all doom and gloom. For all we know, we may have already negotiated our toughest obstacle at one of the steps already completed. For this reason, some researchers believe that the fact that we appear to be alone in the universe is actually a good sign. This could indicate that we are the lucky few who have passed through the Great Filter quite unscathed. Still, we can't but admit that people use only several forms of communication, whereas there may be considerably more of them. Either way, the universe is estimated to have existed for 13.8 billion years, and there may well be a great number of organisms out there that would have overcome these obstacles. But hardly any of them will learn that they are not the only ones around. For this, they have to accomplish a major technological breakthrough which in theory is to be their undoing and lead to a global apocalypse. The situation on our planet demonstrates just that. We're able to eliminate the entire human race as a result of a global thermonuclear war. The odds are rather high that our civilization will be wiped off the face of the Earth before either super powerful engines or more effective forms of communication have been developed. It is also hard to actually identify the Great Filter as the environment on other planets may be completely different from ours. For instance, abiogenesis, a process of inorganic nature transforming into organic one, is bizarre and fascinating. And it may actually be the great filter for many intelligent races. Given all this, the great filter hypothesis prompts a number of important questions. Is mankind going to be able to adequately and successfully respond to an unexpected challenge? Or is the worst already in the past, and the silence of the universe is a sign that we are one of the few races to have completed all the stages devised by the Great Filter? Unfortunately, we cannot answer any of this today. And the only thing we can do now is to brace up for a trial the universe has in store for us, whatever it may be.